Hello, my name is Stephen, and in this lecture, you will learn about the SSH Information Gathering and Vulnerability Assessment. SSH is commonly employed for remote management through the secure connection. So it operates on TCP port 22 for communication. And then now let's explore the MSF console again here. We will use auxiliary models as we always do for the information gathering and vulnerability assessment here. And um, in the model we will use in this lecture can be found here at auxiliary uh, scanner here. SSH and SSH here. So in SSH we have uh, the almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen auxiliary models. So I think it's nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, uh, fourteen auxiliary models here. Um, each serves for a different purpose, and you can also use that they work in the same way you just give them target or war list and uh, you just run this and after that we will use the ssh in this case we will use the enum uh, users enum users here and show options we have we need to in this case uh, this model can be found uh, in this name as you can see scanner ssh ssh enum users and uh, to make it work, you need to change two settings here. The R host, uh, where are you? Yeah, R host and the the user user file. User file. So if you want to test the single username, you can do just to change the enter this. In this case, we can also set the a username here just a single username if you know it but in this case we will use some some type of brute force technique to discover that and in order to find the world list here we will go to uh, the cd metasploit no <laughs> cd user share metasploit framework data and here we will have something world list here ls and as you can see here we have a uh, bunch of word lists here so we can find the specifically designed for ssh here which contains probably more than 200 usernames i think yes uh, telnet ftp sid http here Yes, let's cat cat payata SSH user pass. Yes, that is good. I think. However, in this case, we just need this the username here and not user pass. This is mainly for brute forcing the username and the password here. But in this case, our main target will not need that or we can also set one username to test in this case hmm, we can set like set first let's set our hosts here 192.168.1421.136 uh, uh, yeah and enter and we will set the username Hmm. So our Metasploit framework has username here. Let's actually just enter the admin and run. And as you can see, it's checked for fast positives and so on. And in this case now, let's use the cat direct default user and this is so short in this case we don't want that so. our pc names we have here or we can just use the unix users right cat unix users 
Mm -hmm. We can use that. LS here. Show show options firstly and user file set user user file also this descriptions will give you a hint here so we don't want to passwords we, we just want the brute force list uh, the word list that has just the uh, usernames one per line in this case we will enter this now uh, and it was the rpc i guess uh, yeah rpc names and run as you can see here this starting the scan So this might take some time here. Oops. Hehem. <laughs> User users RPC found. Hmm, what is that? And user user found. Haha, <laughs> we are finding it, right? This might be files positive here, but user I think it's this is this uh, founding is legit here. Yeah, that's it here we complete uh, we have successfully uh, used the enum enum users auxiliary model here so this will be pretty useful if you wanna do the enum users uh, for metasploit using the metasploit here uh, on ssh protocol and that's it so today we have delved into the world of ssh secure shell a commonly used tool for secure remote management so we have learned that ssh operates on tcp port 22 providing a safe means of connecting to remote systems additionally we have explored one of ssh extra models here uh, the ssh enum, enum users which we can reach it in the message point here and this module helps us gather information about the users set up to use the SSH service on a remote system. And you can find this model under the name Auxiliary Scanner SSH SSH Enum Users. And to use it effectively, you just need to configure two important settings, which we find the, the proper word list here on the, the Metasploit Framework Data for List folder. It was the Piata SSH user pass. <laughs> Let's actually Piata SSH user pass. No, this wasn't. I think it was. It was the Unix users TXT here. So it came pretty handy in those SSH uh, username scanning and brute forcing situation. And. Um, so we, and after that, we just set the uh, remote host where the target, we set the target IP address, target computer IP address. And remember, this is just the beginning of our exploration into SSH and its capabilities. And understanding these tools is, and auxiliary models is essential for responsible and ethical cybersecurity practices. My name is Stephen, and I'm waiting you in next lecture.